shield. The 565 iron soldiers that made up our division headquarters operated independently across to Major Porter, a leader that I have the utmost confidence in. Command Sergeant Major Prince and I began building a professional relationship with leaders and soldiers at every level had face time with the Division CSM. He also participated at the national level as a member of the Command Sergeant Major to the Alcoy Commander, Major General McCormick. Then Major General McCormick passes the colors to the Adjutant General, Major General Schindler. Major General Schindler passes the colors to the incoming commander, Major General Wickshire, thus demonstrating his trust and confidence in the incoming commander. The time honor process is complete when General Wickshire returns the colors to Command Sergeant Major Porter, indicating the trust and confidence. Leading this formation and the great iron soldiers in it has been one of the single greatest periods of my military career. The 565 iron soldiers that made up our division headquarters operated independently across the oh. Present arms. Present arms. Sir, this concludes the ceremony. Big charge. Sir, the colors are present. Present the command. May come and go, but the sword remains razor sharp. Command Sergeant Major Pritz will receive the sword from Sergeant Major Frankel entrusted with the Sergeant Major's sword, symbol of the authority of the NCO. Command Sergeant Major Pritz, in final deference to his authority and leadership, passes the sword to General McCormick, signifying a relinquishment of his duties and gratitude for the opportunity to care for the 20th Infantry Division outstanding soldiers. Major General McCormick then passes the sword to Command Sergeant Major Porter, delegating command authority and entrusting him with the responsibility and care of the division. Command Sergeant Major Porter returns the sword back to Sergeant Major Frankel, symbolizing his dedication to the soldiers of the 20th Infantry Division.